Here is a quick tutorial to set up Desmos Graph and Calculator and to get a table of values for your graph. So first you just got to go to desmos.com and then you'll get this screen right here which you can log in with an account that you have made previously or you can sign up with a new account. I just use my Google account. It's pretty quick to set that up. So you click, click on Graphing Calculator and you can go from there. So really simply if we want to find the um, XY chart or table of values for a polynomial, let's go ahead and enter something here. So let's say we want X to the third power. And whenever you enter an exponent, you always have to press the right arrow to get out of the exponent. Let's say plus 2X squared plus 3X plus 5. So we got something like that. Um, and there's a few functionalities over here. If you want to see a better graph, you can uh, back out like that. If you want your screen to be back to normal, you click on the home screen and we're back to what it was before. So I want to check my XY chart that I created by hand for this graph. Okay, if you want to leave this graph here or this polynomial function there, let's copy that and paste it into a new line so we have our, our function here. Let's have that Y equals with it. And I want to generate a table. So I want to go to edit list and then you have these functions here where you can duplicate it, which I probably could have done to save a little bit of time. It's not that big of a deal. I can get rid of what I have there, or I can create a table. So let's click on table, and you see right there we have a table of values. All right. So if I want to do more points than this, I can change this to a different number if I want to. Maybe I want to go negative 4 to positive 4. Okay, we can enter some uh, space there and we have these values and I'm just using my keyboard you can use the uh, on-screen keyboard if you want to but I think it's easier just to use your keyboard okay so remember when we're trying to graph polynomials by hand we want to usually go from negative 3 to positive 3 and we're looking for numbers that are bigger so maybe you didn't want to stop here with that negative 13 so we could go to negative 4 and you see that it to go to negative 39 okay so once you see these bigger numbers like that then you're done with your polynomial function because you cannot graph those unless you make a giant graph on your graph paper okay or unless you're using desmos so here is a quick tutorial hopefully you know how to use tables in desmos now to check your work thanks for watching